How you doing everybody? This is PND51010 and uh, today we're going to be looking at footage of Jeff Peckman and I don't know if you guys have heard of him before but for those of you that haven't he is the leader of a group called the Initiative of 300 or the 300 Initiative something like that and what that is that's something in Denver it's a group that we're pushing for some type of committee in Washington for extraterrestrial research or something along the lines of that if, uh, if you want to learn more about it you can uh, you know like always I put the source video in the description box and this obvious shapeshifter explains it but uh, before we move forward I just want to say to you skeptics out there and the ones who attribute these anomalies to video pixelation and artifacts that these videos or these this evidence is becoming more and more difficult to refute in that you know just a lot of videos that have come out recently by other YouTube users and by me also especially the government reptilians video the, the reanalysis video where the subjects are starting to show complete awareness you know, for instance, the like I was just saying, the government reptilians where he touches his eye where the anomaly occurs and it disappears. I mean, you just can't refute this. You know, and, and a lot of times when when skeptics and the naysayers wander by my page and they go to a video other than that one and they say, Oh, it's you know, lighting or pixelation, you know, all the all the all the same lame excuses. I just throw that video their way and Usually I don't hear back from them. They're just speechless. They don't have anything to say because they can't argue it. And it just makes me laugh. It just happened. That just happened the other day with, with uh, some troll. <clears throat> so I just wanted to make that little statement because, you know, sooner or later, you know, there's going to be a full transformation, and you're not going to be able to argue. That's what I believe. I mean, you're already starting to see claws and fangs. For instance, on the George Cavasilis video, you see a fully shaped, defined claw. You know, how can you argue with that? People, how, how does pixelation or video artifacts create a fully defined talon? So, and slit pupils, what, what explains that? Lighting? I mean, come on. It's just, it's just ridiculous. So, let's just get into this, and this is this guy Jeff Peckman, and uh, he's featured here on the Exopolitics TV, and if you want to see a host of shapeshift, it's this guy Al Alfred Lambermont Weber, he's the host of Exopolitics TV, you can just type that in and it'll take you right to his channel, and if you want to see shapeshifters, including himself, everyone he interviews is a shapeshifter, you'll see anomalies on them, so if you want to view definite change with just go to his channel all right so here right off the bat you can see his mis mismatched <clears throat> miscolored eyes and a slit pupil in his left eye just gonna get into this let me zoom in a little bit so you can see You can see the eye color change, and you really can see what, what seems like transparent eyelids here. And speaking of transparent eyelids, if you want to see transparent eyelids in my Aaron McCollum video, the thumbnail, or the, you know the first picture you see, he's looking down, but you see his eyelids. That's transparent eyelids right there. So if you want to see a beautiful example of that, just go to my Aaron McCollum video, and you'll see the first example. The first very, you know, the first scene you see on 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 the screen. And here you could see in his left eye, a very nice example of a slip pupil, and mismatched, miscolored eyelids, or eyes rather. I'm sorry. That seems like a yellow eye. It looks yellow, kind of. Yellowish.
see his left eye is like purple and now it's like bluish color or his right eye rather Let me back out a little bit so you can see better because it's like a split screen you'll see in the source video when you, if you choose to view it you can see the, the anomalies start to begin in his left eye See the eye color change. See the tooth morph too on the bottom here. See he doesn't have a complete bottom row. Also the slit pupils as well. We're gonna see a pretty big morph coming up soon. There's transparent eyelids right there. You can see the slip pupils. And if you watch the beginning of this video, in the source video, you'll see it's almost as if he's trying to get his voice ready. He's making all sorts of like little humming sounds. It's kind of strange. You'll see it. You'll hear it too. If you play it a couple times. I didn't catch it at first, but then I was like, what's that noise? But here's the first morph of the of a series of frames where it gets progressively worse. And you can see here that the eye rides have just become completely completely anomalous. There's a nose. There's like a, a pixel block right in, in his nostril there, in his right nostril. Like you can see, it's like a, a piece of the masking program. Watch, we'll see how it gets worse over these next couple frames. See his eye, see the, the eyelid area? Uh, there's like a greenish hue to it. The whole face is extremely discolored. It almost looks like it's, as if it's bruised. And it somewhat fixes itself there. Because you can still see the discoloration, which is very strange. Now look at this right here. And now he looks like the creature from the Goonies, you know the. Or I think it's the Goonies. What's what, what's the creature where he comes from underneath the bed? It's like an '80s movie. I forget what it is, but he looks like that creature in this in this shot here, complete with the slit pupil. And look at this trapezoidal eye right here. In, in the uh, right eye. But look, you can see a beautiful slit pupil in this left eye here. And look at the discoloration in the corner of the right eye right there. It's almost as if the reptilian skin is coming out and you can start to see it. And the masking program is trying to throw, you know, the, tex the texture map over it. The pixel texture map over it. See the mouth here? Yeah, well, pay attention to that slip pupil over the next couple frames. See how it gets bigger and it changes color now. Now it's blue.
I mean, no amount of pixelation, video artifacts, lighting, or whatever, whatever type of video deficiency you could come up with can create that slip pupil like that. And this is the guy, Alfred Lambermont Weber, you'll see in the source video. He's the host, he's a shapeshifter as well. Let's pay attention to the eye, see how it progresses over these next couple frames. Look at his mouth here. And watch it, it slowly coalesces back to normal as if it resets. I mean, not necessarily normal, as normal as it can get. You still see a lot of eye color change and a lot of other anomalous activity and behavior. Now here we can see it start to malfunction again in the eyes. The discoloration starts to get worse again. But if you notice on the other end, on Alfred's end, he's perfectly clean over here. So if it was a connection issue, wouldn't it be on both ends? I mean... But connection issues don't create slip pupils. Sorry. Boom, and then he and transforms back into a normal face there. You can see the slip pupil as well, though, and a yellow eye. It's going really slow here. His face kind of freezes there, but I think they cut the stream off too. It gets really blurry here. You see how it gets really blurry? I think it's the end of the stream. I think they cut it off. But you'll notice in a lot of his interviews, this guy Alfred Lambert Weber. They cut, you know, the shape shifting becomes so bad that they cut it off. See how, you know, it becomes dark and everything and gets all interrupted and all that. But you'll notice, like I just said, in a lot of his interviews, they cut it off and they just go to audio, strictly audio, no visual. no visual. Because the shape shifting becomes so bad that they just, the masking program can't compensate for it. So here he is back. And you can see his eyes change in color badly. You only got a couple more seconds, but I just wanted to. I'm just glad I was able to feature the the anomalies that we seen. Those are the main ones I wanted to show you guys. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna end it here because we don't got that much time. So hope you enjoyed this analysis. Be well. Be a peace.